I think. Maybe. Maybe. Sideways now? Let me break my chair for a second. Yeah. I think I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Slightly. Okay. Guess what? I'm making more eagles. <laughs> I'm making more eagles because I'm crazy. And that's, I don't know why. Why did I agree to make more eagles? Because um, I like to give gifts, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. We'll see. I don't really want to make more eagles. I mean, I kind of do, but I also kind of don't. I've made now 37 eagles, and I need to make nine more. Yay. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, now that I have the pattern memorized, it's really not that bad to make them. It's just... I would have liked to have maybe had something in between making these 44 eagles, but that's okay. You know, you can't always get what you want. Hello, how are you? Happy Friday. I'm going to move this so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Hello, hook and, oh, I can't read. Hooks and threads. Happy, happy Friday. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I'm doing well, even though it snowed here and I'm not very happy. Kelly, Kelly from Hooks and Threads. This is gonna be loud, isn't it? But I need to wind this because I hate crocheting. I hate crocheting um, with uncaked yarn. So it must be done. It must be done. Um, the way that I like to wind my yarn is I have like the cake, this is for nap blanket, and then I just kind of mm, pull off some if it will let me. Just like I ripped off all of that. Um, hello, hi, thank you, um, uh, four, year, four, have I been crocheting for four years? I think it's been four years now, so it definitely takes time. I feel like I've only been good at crocheting since, I feel like I've only been good at crocheting for like a year. Like the remaining three years, I'm like the stuff that I have. It's not that good. I love this color of yarn and I will tell you what it is. It is Purple Plum by Bernat. I used it to make these eagles, very cute. I need to make even more eagles even though I thought, you know, I thought after 35 I would be done, but it's not done. I have to make nine more because people like the eagle so much. Oh wait, I don't know how to read. Oh no, the chat went away. And I feel like I saw that it was somebody's birthday and now the chat's gone. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Happy birthday. The eagle's so cute. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, They were a really big hit at the event that I made them for. And so I decided to make um four more for the people that helped me host this event. And then four more for the um, professors that also helped with this event. And then um, one more because somebody commissioned me to make them one who also goes to my university. I'm trying, the chats disappear when I'm sideways and I don't love that. I hope you're all doing good. Um, in Minnesota, it snowed a crap ton yesterday. And I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. I didn't have to go to campus today, so I'm not too mad, but we'll see how it is on Monday when I have to drive. 
How purple is that yarn? Or is it more brownish? It... I'll be honest, I think the name of this yarn is deceiving. Because it's called Purple Plum. In my eyes, it's burgundy. It's... It's... I was almost going to say it's a wine, but I don't drink wine. I just, like, this is the color that I associate with red wine, kind of. Um, I, my, my, our school colors are burgundy, so that's why it was, like, the perfect color. It kind of matches my hair. Then again, my hair has been fading, so that also looks brown. But I think it's more burgundy, not purple plum. Although burgundy, the Joanne's burgundy is somehow like almost like a dark blackish red where this is more of a burgundy. I don't really know. I'm not a color specialist. I don't know the names of colors. Like I think maybe two years ago I learned what um, cyan is. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I could be saying that so wrong. I love your radish spirit. Thank you. I love him too. This is um, a free pattern. I don't remember the person's name who made it, but if you check out like one of my newest videos, I have a document linked that has all my favorite patterns um, listed and the link for the free pattern for the Radish Spirit is there. See, that sucks. I live um, outside of the cities, but I go to school in the cities. So we'll see. I, I don't want that. I don't want more snow. My dogs love it. I, I don't. I don't like driving in it. It's okay. I don't mind driving in the snow. I hate driving with people in the snow. That's what I hate. Because um, people are stupid drivers. <laughs> and it's like either people are too cautious or they're riding my butt the whole way. And I'm like, if you really want to go fast and crash and get hurt, Go for it. Just pass me. Like, like, get away from me, please. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the Atori Sama is also free. The pattern, or the person who made that, made it with acrylic. So, with the acrylic, they made it as a doorstop. And I saw it, and I was like, and I saw the stitch counts, because it was a free pattern. And it worked perfectly with Renat. I think they're all a really good size. <laughs> I need to finish winding this like quickly otherwise this live is just gonna be me winding yarn instead of actually crocheting oh my gosh I got a tip Nicole from I'd flip that thank you that's my mom just to let you all know she was mad because um last time I went live she um she popped in and said hi and I didn't give her a shout out and say that that was my mom so sorry mom um Oh, you're from the cities. Move to S-E. S-E. Am I stupid? No. What's S-E? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Yes. To S-E. Oh, wait. To S-E-M-N. Oh, wait. I don't know how to read. I Southeast. Southeast. Yep. I thought... I don't know how to read. It's Friday. It's Friday. It doesn't snow where I live. Where do you live? Um, I'm, yeah. I, Minnesota weather used to be great when I was younger. Like, we actually had all four seasons. And now I feel like we just have winter and summer. And I'm a little upset. I'm a little, I'm a little upset about that. I really, um... I really like my fall and spring, but global warming and other things. Southeast, yeah. Wow, that was embarrassing, and you all witnessed that. Hey, we keep it real here, right? <laughs> South of Winona, okay. I live um, a little bit north of, no. I live a little bit south of St. Cloud. Because I, I used to go to St. Cloud State and then I transferred after a year and a half. I transferred mid-year because I was miserable. 
And they canceled the orchestra program there, which when you're a music major studying violin, that would be not great. You live in Puerto Rico? Oh my gosh. Is it really nice right now? Uh, I think we have like three or four inches of snow here. Not fun. Not fun. I'm going to uh, Costa Rica <laughs> this May um, through my school's music program. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I was in Peru last May through our same orchestra program. La no, I was in Peru. Yeah, I was in Peru last May through uh, my school's orchestra or music program. And then this May, we're going to Costa Rica. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm not excited about this though. This sucks. This really, really sucks. I don't. <laughs> it may, this makes me not want to crochet now. This make or this makes me not want to wind yarn because usually I don't have this bad of luck. I guess I don't know. I was too excited and I started winding too fast or something. This is. <laughs> and do I need to change the, the title of this live to um, Untangle Yarn With Me? That would be the most boring live ever. Yet I'm doing it right now. Sorry, guys. Um, maybe I will give up. I'm going to give up, and I'm just going to crochet some more eagle heads. So, yeah, I said I need to make nine more eagle heads. I've made, or nine more eagles. And I've made three, four, five, six, seven, eight heads. So now I need to make one more head. Um, that's kind of how, that's how I survived having to make 35 eagles is I would do like mm, seven or eight heads at a time and then their bodies and then everything else. Okay, let's look at the weather in Puerto Rico. It's blazing hot right now. I know, I'm really jealous. Like, I mean, I know Minnesota's like the land of 10,000 lakes. I don't like lakes that much. They're just not my thing. I like the ocean a lot more. <laughs> I had to throw out some yarn that got so tangled, I just couldn't untangle it. I was so frustrated. I. Um, I'm guilty of that as well. Or what I will do sometimes is if it's really tangled, I'll just cut it up and then use it as stuffing because I still feel guilty like throwing out the yarn. So if I use it for stuffing, that makes it okay. Is it really okay? I don't know. One, two, three. Sorry, I just have to get my magic ring and then I will speak. Do you guys, okay, here's a question that I've always debated. Like when I edit my videos, sometimes I count out loud. Does that, does hearing other numbers while counting and crocheting throw you off as well? Cause I'll try and edit that out of videos, but when I'm live, like I can't not do that. Right, I can't edit that out. So I have to count. Eight. Because I don't know, sometimes when I watch other people and they'll be like, crochet with me, and then the whole video is them counting, I'm like, I can't do this. I can't handle it. This isn't gonna work. And then I have to watch something else. Or sometimes, like, I can't even watch, like, a show or anything, like, while I'm crocheting. I have to, like, listen to music. Um, if the pattern's really complicated or whatever. Or when I'm pattern testing, I try not to have a show where I just use music so that I can count and actually um, do a good job. Okay, yeah, see, it throws other people off too. Oh, no, okay. It doesn't bother some, but it also bothers some others. That's fair, that's fair. I know in our last live, um, we were talking about how people count. And I guess, yeah, 
I do like I count like the pattern like the repeats of the pattern I don't count the actual total stitch count but I still get messed up even when other people count or if there are other numbers being said so I don't really know what that says about me I mean sometimes if I'm like <laughs> this is terrible but sometimes if I'm like really overstimulated or anything uh, I can just like turn off my hearing aids and then there you go <laughs> that that limits my distractions for sure but then sometimes it's like it's almost harder to like do work or like a lot of times I mean like school work like if I turn off my hearing aids because then it's silence and then it's just me and my thoughts or like me trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing and then that backfires so Usually I'll be listening to um, the Mario Kart music on YouTube when I do homework. And sometimes when I crochet too. Because it's such um, a repetitive loop that it's just perfect. It's just perfect. Oh, I just realized I don't know if I'm going to have enough eyes to make. I need 18 eyes. I don't think that looks like 18 eyes. So I might need to get more. Uh, for these guys, I use 12 millimeter eyes. That's what the pattern recommends too. Um, 12 millimeter eyes, 12 millimeter, eight millimeter. I'm trying to look at my thing. 12, no, yeah, 12, eight, six. Uh, 12, eight and six millimeter eyes are like my most used eyes. Um, and then maybe 22 millimeter eyes for turtles. I haven't been making turtles lately and I kind of miss them. Um, I don't know. I've been trying to think of new things to crochet. What have you guys been crocheting? Because I need some new inspo because all I've been doing is eagles for like two months. <laughs> Not that they're bad. Love the pattern. Love the cozy stitch. She's great. It's a great pattern, but I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to find time to crochet and things. Hello. So it doesn't count as muscle memory. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm trying to think of how long it took me to gain the muscle memory because I, I mean I can crochet without looking it's 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 really nothing to me well yeah I think I can crochet without looking even yarning under two. Oh, uh, let me see hi love your channel hi thank you um dragons and dinosaurs okay dragons are really in I feel like um sorry this thing is being really obnoxious I feel like dragons, oh my gosh, what's it called? Like Nessie, Loch, the Loch Ness Monster, um, are really, really big right now on Instagram. Like everybody is making those patterns and this is me saying something evil, but they all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same and I get it, it's a trend, but I'm like, Come on guys. Um, somebody just finished a Gyfron made with acrylic and it's current and currently working on a graph a graph baby afghan. What is a, a what's a gryphon? What's the, is that a Pokemon? I feel like it's a Pokemon. Um somebody said I've been crocheting hanging plants and they sell well for me. I've been seeing a lot of people posting plants and things like that that they make at their markets. Do you add, do you do it kind of in the style of like jelly cats where they have like eyes and a smile or whatever? Like, do they have, do, you, do are they, what's the word? Anthropomorphic plants or are they just like plants? I don't know. Does that make sense? Um, I'm a newbie and I've made scarves and a hat um, and I'm doing the, a granny square blanket right now. A granny square blanket. Nice. A gryphon is a griffin. A griffin. From Harry Potter? I think I have to Google that. I'm going to. And I will educate you all. I'll show you 
What, a, a griffin? That's Harry Potter, right? Griffin? Yes! No. No. Maybe it's not Harry Potter. I'm trying to find a good image to show you. This is a griffin, everyone. Ah! Stop. Why is this doing this? That. That's cool. I'm trying to look. A griffin. It's a mythical creature, which it's part eagle, part lion. Is the one that you're crocheting, does it have wings like the picture I showed? It's a legendary creature with the body and tail and back legs of a lion and the head and, and wings of an eagle with its talons and its front legs. No, I don't put eyes and faces on the pods. Okay. I've seen people do either one. The griffin, how big is it going to be? That looks huge. Well, I mean, like, it looks, I mean, like, the mythical creature looks huge. But, like, to make a pattern for it, I feel like that would be so detailed and whatever. Yeah, are you using, okay, sorry, I'm asking you a million questions because I'm fascinated with your project. Are you using a pattern? Okay, what yarn are you using? And are you using a pattern? And how big do you think it's going to be? Because that looks big. Sorry, I'm trying to cross off what row I'm on. And I'm already lost. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm working with big toy duck. You are just making things and crocheting things that I've never heard of. Well, I mean, I knew the griffin. The griffin thing. Isn't there a griffin in Harry Potter? Or am I gaslighting myself? Oh, I know. I'm working on a big toy duck. I thought that was the name of the yarn. I'm having issues. Can you tell? <laughs> a big toy duck. That's cute. I'm trying to think. I made a duck, but it wasn't like, like the toy duck, like the rubber duck or whatever. I'm on the last row. I hate that this isn't in the cake. And I hate that I just left this there. Like I'm stepping on the yarn on the floor. Because it's all tangled. But I don't want to tangle yarn. That's boring. That's really boring. Did I say I don't want to tangle yarn? I don't want to untangle yarn. I hate untangling yarn. I love your background. Thank you. Um, I think... It's just shells from Target and yarn. <laughs> okay, we have a response. The pattern is, I'm, I'm not even gonna try that. Hooked by Katie. It can be found on Ravelry if you want to see. It also, it's about a foot tall? The fact that you used acrylic and it's an, a, a, over a, like a foot tall, dang. Hello, Cat's Craft. Hello, I don't know how to read. Hello, Cat's Crafty Crochet Corner. I'm currently working on a lion. I want to make a lion. I want Mama Made Minis to come up with a lion pattern. When they were asking people on their um, Instagram stories what people wanted, I said, I want you to make a lion because I'm a Leo and it would be really cute. And I feel like, I don't know, like people, I know their target audience is like moms. Well, like, a lot of moms have jungle-themed stuff for their kids' rooms and stuff. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I really want, I feel like they have a mini one of the elephant but i don't think they have a line and i feel like they could make their patterns are just incredible i feel like they could make a really 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 cool looking lion like that use some like chaining or some sort of cool technique i'm working on it on tiny chickens wait yeah i'm working on tiny chickens by making things naughty cute Oh my gosh, I'm a Leo too. Yes! What um what day is your birthday? Hashtag team Nicole. True. No, hashtag team Anna. <laughs> hashtag team producer Anna. 
two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four. Thank you for stopping by Barter Mania. <laughs> um, I hate, I hate. Does that look right? It looks so wrong. Also, you were thinking about the Gryffindor house, right? No, I'm, what's the illegal pet that Hagrid had in Harry Potter? What's that illegal, what was the illegal pet that they were about to like have to um, put down and then Harry, Hermione, and Ron used the, the time turner thing and then like they went back in time and then, um, and then they saved it. What was it? I haven't, I've only read the Harry Potter books like once and that was in middle school? That was in middle school, I think. I am working on more eagles because <laughs> I'm crazy and because people, they were a really big hit at the event and so that I was going to get, I was going to gift eight to the people that helped run the event and then one person commissioned me to make them one. Thank you, Barter Mania. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that I will probably see you in the chat. Is it next Thursday already? I don't even remember when they're hosting the next thing, but I'll probably, I'll see you there. I mean, I, I have to run the games, so yeah. Thank you though. Um, hello, Lily. Um, my birthday's on August 2nd. Mine's August 8th, so I'm 8802. And I think I was born I was born at like 8 a.m. as well. So like eight's my number. I love it very much. The eagle horse thing. Yes, um, Buckbeak, the hip hippogriff. But okay, the, he, the one in Harry Potter's a hippogriff. The one that you're, that, that person was crocheting, I'm sorry, I, I lost what your name was, is a griffin. What's the difference? <laughs> Buckbeak, yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm glad they sold for you. I made five and they sold only sold two. Oh, uh, the Eagles? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, the Eagles, well, so I was commissioned to make them, or I kind of like agreed to make them because I'm a part of a uh, council at my school, a student council, and we were hosting an awards event for um scholarships and so I was paid like by our budget for the event to make them so people didn't like re like reach out to me and be like hey can I have these I mean I have one person um but it was like they were given out as a participation award that I already had been paid for so like you know what I mean I don't know I don't know Okay, a hippogriff is half eagle, half horse. Hippogriff, half eagle, half horse. Griffin, half eagle, half lion. I'm learning so many new things. So then did, did, um, what's the name of the lady that wrote the book? The books? J.K. Rowling, I think. Yeah. The one who got canceled. Um, so she pretty much just like took that, she took a griffin, cause that's from actual mythology, and then just made a hippogriff. Wow. Wow, really creative. <laughs> that's okay, we don't like her, we can roast her, it's fine. She's not, ooh. Ooh. Have you guys seen Harry Potter? Or like, was this super, was me making that connection way um like way out of your knowledge I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to ask if you guys have seen or read Harry Potter that's what I'm trying to ask you've seen it okay you've seen it and you knew the name of the animal wow I need to step it up on my Harry Potter lore I used to be really into it and then I don't know I started reading what else did I read I don't remember what I read after I read Harry Potter. I know I read the Divergent series. 
Um, I read The Hunger Games. I read, I think I read the first Maze Runner. It should be, a hippogriff should be half hippo, half giraffe. That's really funny. I never made that connection until now. Oh, okay. Do you have any specific plans to make more giant crochet plushies like the whale shark or, and no face? I do. I'm just in school. So it's probably not going to happen until like uh, the middle of May, maybe. I know Harry Potter, read it with all my boys, and I never watched the movies. <gasps> you never watched the movies? That's okay. Oh, well. Mm, I'm torn because I read The Hunger Games and I refuse to watch the movies because I love The Hunger Games so much. Um, and I read the Harry Potter books and I watched the movies and I do feel that kind of a little bit of same regret, but also the Harry Potter books have so much like information in them. So it's way easier to watch the Harry Potter movies and reminisce than to reread the books. Whereas with like the Hunger Games, if I really, really wanted to remember what happened, I could just read the three books. They weren't that long. Um, I've read the first three. The Hunger Games is my favorite. Um, have you seen the new Hunger Games movie, Lily? My mother is so mad at me. She wants me to watch the Hunger Games movies because she says they're really good. But I don't think she's read the books, so I don't think she has, like, the, uh, emotional stake of, like, knowing how the story goes. I can't remember if she read the books. I could be totally lying. But she really is mad at me that I will refuse to watch um, the Hunger Games movies. I also refused to watch uh, Twilight for the longest time. I never read the books, um, but I just thought it was cringe. <laughs> um, and then I watched them with my friend and they were cringe. <laughs> You're reading the prequel now. Is that... Okay, wait, what was... So, so you haven't probably seen the new movie. What was the new movie called? Songbird? Was it that? No. It could have been and I could totally be lying. For a second I was going to say it was, um, sorry I'm counting. To Kill a Mockingbird? No. <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird. It's not To Kill a Mockingbird. It's definitely not To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, oh, Margaret couldn't get, is that, is, am I saying your name right, Margaret? I think. Um, I couldn't get into the Hunger Games. My husband really enjoyed the movies. Um, I really, really liked the books. I really, really liked the books. Um, but I was also like 12 or 13. So I don't know if I read them now, I might be like, you're stupid and you shouldn't have done that or whatever. But I remember really, really liking them. Okay. One, two, three. No. I'm having such issues with these safety hours. It's not even funny. Sorry, I had to like go silent to think. Okay, so the new movie, I was right, no. What did I say, A Mockingbird? Battle of the Songbirds and, and the Snakes? Um, I rewatched Twilight and yeah, it was cringe. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't know. It, I mean, I got a good laugh out of a lot of it, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I did in the very, it was, I think it's the last movie, like during their like final fight or whatever. I did have a bit of a mental breakdown during the plot twist. I freaked out because, well, something happened and I was really, really mad. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, well, if you've seen the movies, you know that it was like, it was a big thing. Um, Mocking Jay. Yeah, was it Mocking? No. Okay, I don't even remember. The Hunger, okay, so the first book was The Hunger Games, right? And then there was two more. The first one was, there was a black a red and a blue covered book or covered books. I don't remember the names of them. I just know that it was a Hunger Games series. 
Okay, yeah, that is how you say my name. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I thought so, but like, I know Margaret, she spells her name differently, so then I was like, wait, what if not? Because people will see my name and they'll, they'll, they'll pronounce it Anna, like from Frozen, and I'm like, no. I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that's not, it's not how it's pronounced. So I always want to make sure. Yeah, Frozen kind of ruined my life now. I mean, it didn't ruin my life, but you know what I mean? Like now everybody, usually people would get that my name is Anna. Um, but now because of Frozen, people constantly second guess themselves or they just call them me Anna and I have to go, no, you're wrong. Thank you, but you're wrong. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to think of what other book series that I really liked. I don't know why I'm into talking about books. Right now, um, I'm reading... Okay, curious, how do you pronounce this word? I say it aunt. But my friend from South Carolina says aunt. I say aunt. I have a question, which has been your most fun crochet project to work on. That brought you a lot of joy? Well, I can tell you it wasn't the whale shark. <laughs> um, I can just say that right now. Um, aunt is aunt. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I say aunt. Um, aunt. I've never said aunt. Like, my family just doesn't. Like, I'm sure if my family did, I would have just just said it that way my most fun project um i think i think maybe hmm i'm trying to like look in the background and see i think maybe Maybe the radish spirit or Otori Sama. Otori Sama was it was really easy because I mean there's really not that much shaping to it. Um, I would say none of my original patterns were fun to crochet because I was pattern designing. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, the whale sharks definitely not. Um, that takes a lot of work, a lot of brain power. Uh, they're beautiful. I love the final project. I love the final results, but the process of making them can hurt my arms and shoulders and hands a lot. So I wouldn't say that was my favorite. Um, probably the Radish Spirit or Tori Sama. Will you show the Radish Spirit? Blah, blah, blah. Will you show the Radish Spirit? Yes, I will. Also, it is a character from the Studio Ghibli movie, Spirited Away. And I can show you him. There he is. I mean, I can try and move him, but like, everything will fall. And then I'll be sad. He's very big. Come here, sir. He's probably deflated a lot. Here's his little button tail. And then you take the hat off. I don't like him without the hat. He looks weird. But yeah, I think he's really fun. Um, but yeah, this is him. He's, he's like not a main character at all in the movie. He's really just um, a side character that goes to the bathhouse and like rides the elevator with I don't remember her name I don't remember is it Sophie no Sophie is from Howl's Moving Castle Sophie and Howl Haku and I don't remember I'm gonna oh nope he said nope. I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, I don't remember. But it's really like the 
the radish through it. Get in there. Ugh. Um, and Atori Sama are totally side characters, not the main character at all of Spirited Away, but they're just so iconic. I can't tell if I'm centered. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much. He looks so good up close. Thank you very much. I made him last February. He's about a year old. He's about a year old. Um, uh, was it January? It could have been January or February. But yeah, um, I think he's held up compared to a lot of my older plushies. Some of my older ones, I'm like, get these out of here. I don't want that to keep them anymore. They're really floppy, flimsy. Get them out. Yeah, he's pretty big. I think he's like, mm, maybe two feet tall. Maybe. He could maybe be a little bit shorter. I could be exaggerating. But I feel like they make a really fun background for sure. Very colorful, very interesting. I'm so excited though. Next semester, fall, this fall, this upcoming fall, we in my school's orchestra will be playing a Studio Ghibli arrangement. I'm so excited. And I think I'm the only person um, in our orchestra, or at least that will publicly admit that I really like the Studio Ghibli movies because nobody knows how to pronounce it or like, um, our conductor will ask us how it's pronounced and, and I'll be like, yeah, it's Studio Ghibli. I'm like, they have really cool movies. Like they're really weird kind of psychedelic, um, and nobody else ever says anything. And so I'm like, internally when he said that, I was like, yeah. But externally, I was just like, but I was like, I can watch Studio Ghibli movies and count that as practicing. Sorry, I saw. Which instrument do you play? I play the violin. I am a music performance major focusing on the violin. And I'm a sociology major because I'm crazy. But I will say before college, I I started with piano in fourth grade, violin sixth grade, while also playing piano the whole time. Um, and then I did guitar, stand-up bass, cello, like a couple months of banjo, a year or two of drums. There was something else. Okay, wait, piano, violin, cello, bass, guitar, banjo, drums. And then I gave five of them up really to do violin full time in college because I hate myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but it's, 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 it's a joke between um, my violin professor and I that we chose the hardest instrument because it's ridiculous. Uh, which is your favorite Studio Ghibli movie so far? Spirited Away is my favorite childhood movie. I only recent, semi-recently rediscovered Studio Ghibli. So I never watched them like as a child. I think I watched My Neighbor Totoro a couple years ago. But then last year I watched Spirited Away because one of my coworkers um has a tattoo of no face and so I was like what's this all about so when I watched Spirited Away became obsessed uh and then I watched it the next day again um before my Amazon rental went up <laughs> and then I watched My Neighbor Totoro and Howl's Moving Castle um goodbye cat thank you for um joining us I hope you have a good Friday so then Yes, and then oh, about two months ago, I watched Princess Mononoke? Mo Mono Mono Mononoke? 
I don't, I don't really know what, how to say it. I watched that one. My favorite, mm. I'm struggling with their question. I think, I really, really love Spirited Away. I love Spirited Away. But I freaking love Howl and Cal Howl and Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. I think they hilarious. I want to read the Howl's Moving Castle book. I want to read it so badly. I keep forgetting that it's actually a book and then I'll see people and like they'll comment like, oh my gosh, this wasn't in the book or like this is different from the book. Also, do you like my giant cut? Um, so I think, I think I love, I think Spirited Away is my favorite because it really introduced me, reintroduced me to the franchise of Studio Ghibli. But How's Moving Castle is just so cute because I love Howl and it was like, oh my gosh, it was so emotional. And then I'm like, oh my god, it was just, mm, I just love Howl. I love Howl. <sighs> Fictional men. <laughs> um, all I ever did was the flutophone? What's that? Sorry, I looked really gross, disgusted when I read that. I just don't know what that is. Band instruments are cool. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. I have to grab yellow yarn. Um, um, I'm trying to think. A flutophone? I've never heard of that in my entire life. What clef is that in? Well, it probably is treble clef because it's a flute, right? Okay, a recorder. Yeah, I had to do that in elementary school. Yeah, I'm sorry. This yarn is bothering me so much. Why must I love unattainable fake men? Exactly. Exactly. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love Howell. And he's just so dramatic and funny and like, oh my gosh. I love him. He's so cute. Such a, I mean, I was gonna say a good guy, but I don't really know if he's a good guy. Acoustic guitar, little acoustic, little, acoustic guitar and the bells, like percussion, I think. I really wanted to do percussion in sixth grade, which is why I started piano in fourth grade. But they were like, well, you started piano in November of fourth grade you really need to have two full years instead of like a year and nine months. So you can't do percussion. And then I said, screw you, I'm going to play strings. And now look at where I am. <laughs> I, I love strings. I think I got the tangle out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was really bothering me that this was still untangled. This was all tangled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, basically a plastic flute played in elementary school. Yeah, the recorder. Hot cross buns. B A G. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to do that too. I had to do that too. It, yeah, I didn't love it. Wasn't my favorite. And I remember we had we got like like karate belts on our recorders for when we like passed a certain song or whatever but like it was they just like tied yarn to the bottom of the recorder i'm like isn't that where all the spit comes out that would be so gross <sighs> i'm i feel like the, the the worst thing about stringed instruments is that sometimes their strings are made with like intestines animal intestines or like they're like called gut strings but, I mean, the rosin is sometimes sticky, but it's not gross like spit. I'm also biased. <laughs> I'm also biased, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm a string girly. I'm not a string girly in the sense that I'm good at untangling yarn, though. Because this is being brutal. 
Are there any tricks to untangling yarn? Yeah, it's just complicating scissors and cutting it. I don't know. I used... To, ugh, yeah. I hate... There was one time I bought, like, really expensive nice yarn because I was going to make myself a sweater. Um, and then it was, like, the fancy kind where you needed a... I don't know what it's called. Like, the huge thing that, like, you wrap a spin... Not a spindle. It was like the thing and then you wrap the yarn hank around it and then that spins while you wind it. I didn't have that. So then I got a swift, a swift. And so then I didn't have that. So then I was like up until 3 a.m. untangling yarn and crying. Yes, I did cry because the yarn was expensive. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. It was probably like, and I'm, yeah, Belle probably. I don't know. I don't know. I'm struggling so much right now. I can hear my dog outside the door and it scared me. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Should I just cut it? I mean, it's not that much yarn. Should I cut it? I need someone to say no. Or yes. I need some, I need wisdom. I need guidance. Cause I don't, I'm just, on the floor it goes. I'm being evil. I don't care, it's okay. Don't. I know I shouldn't. Yes. <laughs> I know, it's hard. I can't figure it out though. I hate it. Save the yarn. Oh, fine. Fine, I will. Oh well. Keep going, you can untangle it. I really don't know if I can. That's the thing. Hence why I've given up and I've now started working on this guy's beak. Also, I lost my scissors. Yarn has feelings too. Well, yarn makes me mad. Yarn has feelings too. That needs to be a shirt. <laughs> that needs to be a shirt. That would be funny. I don't know why I just froze like that for a second. I wanted, like, you know, like, have you ever been? Um, I was class of 2020, so like my senior year was cut short so then in zoom classes sometimes i would just like freeze and just like like watch and see how long i could stay still because that was boring i hated zoom class I, just, I mean i hated zoom class then because it was like new and annoying i'm i'll return to the yarn i'll do it i will do it i believe in myself it's just terrible. But now I'm, I'm in a Zoom class for my um, medical sociology and protest and social change classes. And it's not that bad. People actually participate, which is nice. Um, but now we're going back to meeting in per or now we're going to start meeting in person. This isn't going to work. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, did I rip the wrong thing? Oh, I did. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. I'll still untangle it and use it. I just can't handle it right now. And look at now it's untangling. I did it. Sometimes you just gotta... Oh, I see what the problem was. Sometimes you just have to break it a little bit. You have to be a little aggressive and that's okay. Oh, 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 what? I don't get it. I'm confused. I think it was knotted because there was a manufacturer's knot already there. But still, that's so rude. I hate manufacturer's knots. I feel like I should get a discount if a yarn has one. <laughs> and like there's some yarns that'll have like 
an absurd amount of manufacturer's knots. And it just makes me so mad. As I literally have to tie one now because I ripped the yarn. But that's okay. As long as it's like my own fault, that's fine. Like it was my fault. The yarn got tangled. I'm going to tie a knot. But if it was like the manufacturer's really really please i'm trying to remember what's the yarn tying trick where it's like you have one over the other and then you tie it twice i don't know what that is i don't remember i don't remember what it is oh my phone is gonna die uh oh I might have to hop off, but I still had a lot of fun. Um, oh, I think I figured it out. Ta-da. It's good as new. Not. It is so not good as new, but that's totally okay. I think. No. Yeah. No. I think I just created more problems, to be honest. Oh no! I work at a jewelry store, so I know very well the frustration of detangling, or of dealing with tangled things. The customers come in with tangled thin chains. Oh, and then, then they, do they pay you to untangle it? Or is that just like part of the job? I would want to be paid to be untangling. I hate untangling. It is the worst. I'm gonna move it over here. Uh, sometimes I take a breather and then come back to it. It helps at times. See, I just ripped the yarn. And then it's fine. <laughs> and then it's fine, right? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. It's all fine. So convincing, right? Perfect. I've done it. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did before and hope that it doesn't happen this time. Again. And then I'm just gonna chuck it. And here we go. Um, I kinda love detangling as long as it isn't my hair. That's so true. I true confession, I don't brush my hair every day. I don't. Not even every other day or anything like that. I don't. I refuse. I can't. My hair, it doesn't work. It doesn't work with my wavy hair. Mm -mm. I can't do it. This is causing me issues. That is frustrating me. I just want this to wind nicely. It's like whenever I try and record myself winding yarn to like make an Instagram reel or something, something has to go wrong. It's not fun. Oh my gosh, I can't even read. I kind of love detangling. Joe! Joe's also my dad. Everybody's coming in here and tipping me. Which dog is your favorite that you own? You can't ask that to someone. Can't you tell? They're like right outside the door. They're listening. He's trying to be mean. He's trying to get me to say controversial things. Good evening from the UK. Good evening to you as well. It's evening for you as well? What time is it for you? I don't understand how time zones work. And that's why I'm a music major. <laughs> and not somebody smart. Oh wait, I did change my major to be a science major as well. <laughs> what time is it in the UK? I know in Japan it's like very, very early morning or like very, very late at night. Answer the question, no. I can't pick a favorite dog and you know that. Okay, my favorite dog, I'll give you an answer, but it won't be the answer you want. My favorite dog for silliness is Mabel. My favorite dog for being, well, well, she's not very well behaved, I guess. My favorite dog for just like, 
everyday dogging is Paisley because Paisley is not annoying. I have two dogs. They're both, uh, one's a French Bulldog, one is a French Bulldog Pug mix. The one that's a French Bulldog Pug mix is a demon. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's currently 8 p.m. for you. Oh, you're only an hour away from us? Oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. It's beautiful. I finally did it. I finally did it. I finally did it. It's after midnight? In Ireland. I want to go to Ireland. Oh. I want to go to Ireland and Iceland. And Greenland. I want to go to Europe. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I just want to go over there. All I've ever been to is the US, Canada, Mexico, and Peru. That's it. That's it. Uh, it's currently 8 p.m. for me. Oh yeah, wait. That's already been said. It is only um, 7 here. 7.10. And I've... I was in Iceland last year. It was amazing. Did you get to see um, the Aurora Borealis? Or the Northern Lights? I don't know which is the correct term. I feel like they're both the same thing. I'm trying to remember. There was a sign for that. The Northern Light. I think it was the... Northern... No. I had to do an assignment where we had to talk about our bucket list. And I said I wanted to see the Northern Lights. And I had to Google the ASL sign for it. Can't remember it now. I did for one night, blew my mind. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. We eat, like, in Minnesota, we constantly get, like, all these, like, news things or whatever, being like, you're gonna be able to see the Northern Lights tonight. No, I can't see them. They're like, at 11, 19 p.m., looking southeast, you're gonna be able to see the Northern Lights. No, you don't. I never see them. It's a scam. It's a scam. And I'm sick of it. I need to charge my phone. I need to charge my phone real bad. I've been watching your live as I close the shop. What shop? Where do you work? Sorry, is that creepy? I don't know. Last live I, la I asked somebody how old they were because they told me it was their birthday. And then I realized that's weird. And then I realized that's weird. And I shouldn't have. Because, like, I don't know. It's rude, I guess, to ask people their age. Are you charging? It doesn't tell me. Wonderful. Mm, wonderful. I guess we're getting a new coffee shop in the town that I live in, which is not exciting at all. Um... I'm not happy. <laughs> we have like a million already and I'm just like, can we please get one decent restaurant? Please? But no. It's a jewelry store. Oh, duh. You're the person that wears at the jewelry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to shut up now. Just kidding. That would be boring. But still, I am going to shut up and stop asking stupid questions. Or I'm going to try and remember people's profile pictures and names. But they disappear when I'm going sideways, which is kind of annoying. Which is kind of annoying. I really want to work at a boba shop. I applied to work at a boba shop last summer. They never emailed me back. And I'm mad. I'm mad about it. But. I am a it short. I am a stitch short. That's okay, I suppose. I'm a little concerned, but not the end of the world. I'm, I really don't want to have to stuff this. You know what I kind of want to do? Do you ever, um, 
Do you ever crochet like the finishing round before you stuff it and then mark how much yarn you need or like cut it and then undo it so then you don't have to stuff it right then and there but you know that you have enough yarn left? Is that just a me thing? It could very, it could very much just be a me thing. Because I just don't want to stuff it. I feel like stuffing is so... Uh, uh. Although I have gotten really good at stuffing, I will say. I'm a good stuffer now. Maybe I shouldn't say that. See, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my last round of decreases. Because I don't care. <sighs> because I don't care for stuffing. I'm struggling with these decreases too. It's not, it's not going well for me. Oh my gosh. Oh, my hair just totally fell out of the bun. This sucks. I hate why why do decreases have to decrease like this? Why does it have to be this way? Why do they have to be so difficult? So then I did that final row. I'm just gonna cut like only like this much. And then I'm just gonna frog. And so then I know, oops, I messed that up. I know now that the yarn that I have left, <laughs> good stuffer, I know. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, so then now this is how much yarn I need left to finish my last row and sewing it shut. So now I don't have to stuff it and I can just procrastinate and save it for future me. You said you scared your cat. What's your cat's name? I need to know. My cat's name is Violet. She's not purple. She is gray. She is very much gray. And brown-ish. Gray and brownish. Ah! Oh, wait. Oh, I hate it when I get to like the part of the yarn where it's really, I already cut it and now it's really impossible to crochet with. It's not fun. Please tell me your cat's name. I need to know. I need to know everyone's pet's names. Please. I used, when I was little, I had a hamster named Cheeseburger. That's probably the best name of a pet I've ever come up with. Uh, Quinn, but I also have Harley, Lily, and Mark. Cute. My, um, my best friend, her cat's named, um, Lily, and the other one is... Oh my gosh. The other one is... Oh, no, this is really bad. I don't remember my best friend's cat's name. Lily, it's a supernatural character, I think. Oh my gosh, what's his name? I've never watched Supernatural. This is really bad. What's... Who are the people's names in Supernatural? This is really, really bad. I might have to look at her Instagram to try and remember the name of the cat. Um, I've never been able to have a cat, but I've, always, but I've had a hamster and a dog. Cute, yeah, I've grown up when I, yeah, I pretty much always have grown up with a cat, at least one cat, yeah. And then we only started getting dogs when I was like five, but then we've had dogs since. Um, Harley and Quinn are from the same litter! That's really cute. I didn't, I didn't even catch that little, that little thing there. What is my best friend's cat's name? 
I feel really bad about this now. I think I have to stalk her on Instagram. Excuse me while I do just that. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because I'm not logged into Instagram. What is his name? What's the cat's name? Oh, I feel really bad. I'm trying to think. And it's so just not there. Cast, Castiel. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was really bad. Cat, my, my, my friend's cat's names are Castiel, Cass, and Lily. I just had to look at a picture of the cat and then the name came back into my brain, but please don't tell her I forgot her cat's names. I feel really bad now. I feel really bad now. My aunt also has a dog named Lily. Lily must just be like the name. It just must be it right now. I'm trying to think of any other people whose pets names I know. My mom's um, friend from work, her dog's named Boba for Boba Fett. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other pets names. I can't remember what mama made Minnie's name for their new rabbit, but I'm still jealous that they have a rabbit. I will just say that. I want a rabbit. You know, I actually, actually, I really, really want, um, I really want an axolotl. And I really want a guinea pig. But I think I'd rather have an axolotl. I really like axolotls. They're very, I mean, they're, I was going to say they're very fun. They're not very fun. They don't move at all, but I just like them a lot. And I think in my world, my world literature class in high school, we read this book written by, um, I think it was a Spanish author and he wrote a book about this guy who became obsessed with the axolotls at a zoo and then at the end of the book him and the ax axolotl like switch consciousness so then he turned into the axolotl in the cage and then the axolotl just like took over his body for him um we also read the metamorphosis which was a really good book um but i just remember that axolotl book and it's just so funny to me <laughs> i'm sure it was about like something really really deep i just could not uh, I think it was it was I think it was about like the guy hating his job and then like the axolotl like wishing like oh I wish I was an axolotl where I didn't have to do anything all day and then realizing that um the axolotls are also miserable in captivity as well and like he was in captivity at his job and maybe this is like a socioeconomic retelling of like our so I don't know I don't know but it was an interesting book. I can't remember what it was called. I'll look it up. <laughs> it was a quick book. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It, it, it was really interesting. Um, hold on. Guy who switches consciousness with axolotl. Oh, my dog say hello. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, it was by... Julio Cortazar. Um, it, the book is just called Axolotl. Um, an anonymous man discovers the axolotls, begun a journey of compulsive obsession and mysterious self-discovery, ultimately transformed into an axolotl, and observes another anonymous man who is presumably himself Julio... Yeah. It's a short story published in 1936. Like, it's old. Um, I'm doing good. It's Friday. How are you doing? Um, yeah, but that's, it, it was really interesting. We read that. We read the more metamorphosis, which is like amazing. Um, I really kind of want to reread it. I can't remember any. Oh, we read the Hobbit. We read the Hobbit. Did we in that class or was that a different class? No, I read that in sci-fi and fantasy. 
I don't know. I took a lot of classes from the same English teacher because he had a lot of like interesting classes like world literature and sci-fi and fantasy. Um, I'm good. I just bought this bunny with frog overall pattern. Oh, wait, wait. With overall with I bought this bunny with frog overalls pattern and I'm going to get started on it right now. Cute. Um, what yarn are you using? Um, I grew up watching Hamtaro, so that's probably where I why I adore hamsters. I watch Hamtaro's too. I inherited a Hamtaro's like I don't even know, like they're little, like the little figures or whatever, and like a tiny house for them from like my cousins, and loved it, loved many things. I, yes, loved it, loved it, loved it. <sighs> Sweet snuggles, light, nice, nice. I hope you don't have to do a lot of sewing with that though, because. Uh, does the blue yarn behind you have eyes? I feel like it's looking at me. This. I'm having issues. This one? Or this one? I'll move this one. Well, this one does have eyes. They're peas in a pod. And they're very cute. I like them a lot. My mom was very mad at me um, because um, I made one angry. But I think that's fun. Uh, sewing with me so was like makes me want to rip my own hair out. Yep, but I'm gonna use um white worsted weight yarn to sew. I think that is so smart, and I respect you so much for doing that because I tried to make here. I'll show you once I get these peas back in their pod. Welcome back. Sorry. Don't look at my disgusting hair. Don't do it. Uh, I tried to make, don't look at my hair, this shrimp with, I don't know if it was Space Snuggles Light or if it was Chenille Home Swim, Chenille Home Swim, I'm pretty sure it was Space Snuggles Light. It made me want to die. Period. It made me want to die. Um, I tried to crochet on these, the, the, hated it like these are now they're super crusty now because i had to use a lighter to try and like melt them into place because the yarn just kept falling apart hated it hated it love the pattern love g beans crafty amazing hate this yarn hate it. i mean like i like it don't get me wrong i used it hate it. so you're smart you're very smart don't look at my hair <laughs> maybe i'll just instead of saying that i'll just fix it I used to think that my hair really hasn't been growing at all, but it's getting pretty long. I have to pull it down. And there are chats and they're all disappearing before I can read them. I'm sorry. I'll go get to them, I promise. I just have to fix my hair. Because whenever I turn my head, you can see the back of it and it looks bad. Also, ever since I dyed my hair, well, I didn't dye my hair, but like I got it dyed. I feel like my hair feels thinner and softer. And I'm very happy. Because my hair is very thick. I am back. I've tried burning the ends, being gentle. Yeah, no. It does it it, it it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It looks good. I'm trying to think of what looks good. The shrimp? I mean I think the shrimp looks fine, but I can't sell it because when you touch it, you can feel the the crispies. The crispies. Um, what was I doing? I was ta I was talking about the book The Axolotl and I was doing a row of single crochets. That is what I was doing. I'm really trying to think of what other cool books that we read in that class. We read The Hobbit in one of those classes. Right now, I'm reading This Is How You Lose the Time War. I'm hardly into the book. I'm borrowing the book from my friend and um, it took me so long to even read it that she just bought herself a new one so she gave it to me. Um, and I'm reading it but a couple nights ago I had it sitting on my like I don't even know. What 
what's the thing that your bed sits on? Like your mattress? Your um bed frame. I had it on my bed frame. And then I knocked it off of it, like the like the one that like the bed frame behind my up on top of my head, and I knocked it off of it, and it fell, and then it managed to fall underneath my bed. So somehow I have to move my entire bed frame to try and find this book. And every time I remember it, so I like eleven at night, and then I don't move it, my bed frame. I like how she said it feels crispy. <laughs> it does. It feels crispy. Um, yes, bed frame. Yeah, but it's really good. It's 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 not like any book I have ever read before I will say that um it's it's poetry I don't even know what it is it's so different and there's time travel and like most of the I bought really cheap stitch markers off of Amazon I'm so mad um I, I, I would show you the book but I don't have it it's stuck under my bed um but it's written it's it's it has some parts of the book that are like written and then it has a lot of the parts of the book which are letters between these two characters which are on opposing sides of this time war um and so like the last part that I read they both just traveled back in time in order to change some specific like hanging bone structure on this tree in this like monk's cavern or whatever and so like the one went there and put it up and then the one went there and took it down and then the one went back and then they were like, aha, I knew you were going to do that. So when I did this in the past, but then which is really the future because we can time travel. It was so weird. Um, but yeah, they write letters back and forth to each other. And apparently it's going to turn into a romance novel. It's very short. But they're both on like, it's in Enemies to Lovers. But they're like robots. Assassins. I don't know. I was told to read it. I'm reading it. Um, haha, I use the same stitch markers. Ugh, yeah. I use paper clips instead of stitch markers. That's so smart. I made myself. I don't know if I have it. I made myself. If you like my ceramics, uh, you can see where my hands were when I um, glaze dipped it. Let me see. Well, maybe you can't. I thought you could. Oh, yeah. And then there was the thumb one. Or no, it was this. And then the thumb one was right there. You can see where my hands were. So when I take them away. And I locked it like that. Because I thought it was cool. Handmade. Um, I made myself. Sorry, that was really loud. Um, some whale shark stitch markers. Very cute. I use like really sharp crappy earrings from Amazon that I could never ever put in my ears because if anyone ever snagged on them it would slice my ear open. I hate them. It was so cute. I was going to use it when I made Barbie. I hate it. I can't do it. It's so inefficient to open. Like, ugh. Hate it. I can't do it. Um, I got stitch markers from Clover. And they've been really good. Yeah, so I originally bought a nice pack of stitch markers on Amazon. And then I was selfish. Not really selfish. And greedy. But I wanted more. Because I like to use a lot of stitch markers when I'm pattern designing. And I was losing stitch markers. Or like I had so many whips or whatever. So then I ordered a huge thing of cheap ones. And they're cheap. And they're cheap. I can I make a confession? I don't think I have a single a single clover hook. I have whatever this is that I'm pretty sure is from Hobby Lobby. I don't think I have a clover hook. Um, hold on. What is this? Do clover hooks have the word clover written on them? Sorry. Like my hands get in the way. Um, do they have the word clover on them? I don't know if I would really know. But a lot of people, I think my, 
I think my best friend Macy likes clover hooks as well. I like hooks with the metal. I like hooks with the metal. Are clover hooks metal? Like when they get into the bigger sizes? Because I know some have metal for smaller sizes and then they turn into plastic for bigger sizes. And I'm like, that's stupid. Um, uh, I bought one pack of 10 crochet hooks from Amazon. I've been rolling with it ever since. Yeah. Are clover hooks that much better? I've heard great things. I've also heard amazing things about this one company or whatever person who makes like resin hooks. I know Cameron's Q Creations uses them. I have not. I I don't know. I just found these and these are like the only ones that I can manage to to use. I can't handle I don't like the kinds here I have some. I hate this. I don't know what this is. I hate it. Hate. Detest. Um, this is a boy. B-O-Y-E one. Hate it. It's silicone. It's terrible. And I have whatever this one was from Amazon. And I hate it because all the silicone like slides off. Oops. And like, see, it like... It moves, like I could like pull the hook out if I tried to. No, I don't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Furls hooks. I feel like I've heard of those before, but I don't know if I know, you know? I'm not 100%, I'm not 100% sure. I just know that these are like crappy kind from Hobby Lobby. And sometimes like this stuff, like the red starts to like peel off. And then I just buy a new one. And then I just buy a new one. Um, I'm trying to think. Sorry. <sighs> uh, resin lovely shaped handles. Yeah, is that is that the brand? I follow this person who makes wood hooks. It helps with my attention and arm pain and makes the crochet, cro crochet experience better. Hmm. Okay. Hey, as long as it helps. I can't remember the name of the brand or whatever. That's the resin hooks that everybody freaks out over. So I was just wondering. Oh my gosh, it's already, it's already 7.40. Well, 7.37. Have you guys, I want to, after this, I think I'm going to watch the Quiet on Set documentary. Have you heard about that? It's like all, it's everything that I'm reading everywhere. Any, like everybody's talking about it. So I'm sure you probably have heard of it. But have you watched it? Like, what do you think? I don't know. It's weird. It makes me sad. It's sad. It seems really sad. Uh -uh. You don't support that. Yeah. I feel like I'm such a slow crocheter. I live in Minnesota. Here, I'll, I'll prove it to you boat bag pillow i don't know i'm trying to think of other words that everybody's like <laughs> you say that weird but boat and bag um what are other words that we say lake going to the lake oof oop 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 didn't see you there Is that terrible of me? It's my own culture. I'll make fun of it. One, two, three, four, five, five. Sweet. Um, when I was in Peru last May, my, my Minnesota accent was so bad. It was really noticeable, like compared to everyone else's too. It was really bad. Uh, those words sound perfectly normal to me. Everybody's like, you guys say bag weird. Like you say like the, the way that we say A. I don't know. Boat. 
the old, old, and then like the egg, egg, bag, 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 bag. Can you pass me my bag? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. But I do know that in Peru I was like whiplashed when I would hear myself speak. It was really bad. Like I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. Oda. Oda. Soda. I feel like I said that in my last thought as well. I don't know. We always just get to that point where I have to say it like that. Soda. Who are you voting for this election? <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to tell me. I'm so kidding. But yeah. <sighs> we'll see. I'm scared of this election. I'm scared of this country. My sociology classes are sad. Everything sucks. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> How are you? We're getting into the deep conversations. The deep part of crochet. What do you think about when you crochet? Oh, you know, just the world ending. I hate decreasing. It's being so rude. It's being so rude to me. <laughs> Real. I know. I feel like I've had to edit out like parts of my videos where I'm just like, the world is ending and we're all gonna die. I'm like, mm, maybe let's not. I did have one person like kind of comment and be snarky to me and be like, you shouldn't include politics in your in your company or your brand or whatever and I was like because I had um I had made an angry uterus after Roe v Wade was overturned because I was angry and then I was selling said angry uterus and she was like you shouldn't include politics in your business I have my own business and you know I don't include it in mine and I just wanted to be like yeah but how easy is it to just find like your own personal accounts where you do post that stuff, you know, like from your business. Like I, if I find, if I find your name, I can find you. And then like, people are going to know, you can just tell, I feel like you can just tell. And so, yeah, I'm going to talk about things. I'm going to say things. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about what bothers me about the world. It's, it's, it's my brand. And in this world, it's impossible. People, it's everywhere. Everything influences everything. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Like, I, like, do I really care? No. No. Because I know my beliefs and I know what I know. You know, well, I mean, I, know, I also, I know what I know and I know what I don't know as well. And I'm not going to tell other people what they should, unless it's like really bad, like really bad. Then I will. Uh, real, your brand, your choice. Exactly. This is the second live stream I watched and I still haven't finished, um, the bottom of my dragon. No. Um, how big is your dragon going to be? That sounds huge. Your brand, your rose. Exactly. Exactly. And I want to create an inclusive brand. So I'm going to. Unless you're like one of the people that I just said is like terrible, then get out. Just like like when I made the video talking about or like the funny video on Instagram where it was like um people being really weird to like people that crochet with acrylic yarn, like what? It's so weird. It's so weird. Like, why? 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 Ugh. Ugh. It's just so. Um, that's why I'm, I very much like the school that I'm going to because the vibes there match my vibes and the school that I originally was going to, San Cloud State. Mm -mm. Uh uh. It did not. It did not match my vibes. And it was obvious. It was obvious. 
to make themselves feel better. That's so true. I feel like it's a superiority complex. And I think it's also like, a, it's rooted in classism as well, where they're like, well, you shouldn't do this because it's bad for the environment. And it's like, yeah, but that's the only option. Like in my, um, where we, which class was it? Right now my, my protest and social change and my um, medical sociology class are overlapping like a lot in our topics this week. In my medical class, we were talking about food and like how food can make you sick and people can have addictions to food and things like that. And a lot of times people will blame individuals for, you know, certain things and like obesity and like eating unhealthy. And it's like, okay, but look at the world that we live in. Like, I really don't think people would be resorting to eating, you know, shitty foods. I don't know if I can swear or not. Um, if, if they didn't have to. Like, if everybody could have a home-cooked meal, have the time, the privilege, and the money to have a home-cooked meal every night, you really don't think they would do that? We're getting into it tonight. <laughs> We're getting into it tonight. The people joining are like, "Hey, that's what you get when you when you when 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 you spend a lot of time with a sociology major now." Because that's what I think about. I mean, like that's that's so. It's so the world that we live in. And so to judge a person for, am I doing this right? Back loop only. Back loop on, yeah, sorry. Um, to judge a person for having, buying acrylic yarn or only being able to afford, like, not the best foods, really? In this economic condition that we live in, really? Like, it's not an individual's fault. It's capitalism, baby. It's capitalism. Gotta look. I just crocheted a piece of my hair into this. Hold on. Oh, that's so foul. Hold on. Sorry about that. You just witnessed me crochet a piece of my own hair into this plushie. Um, it all happens, right? It happens to the best of us. There was one time when I like literally could not get a hair out of a plushie. It was one that was for myself. So then I just like tried to cut it to try and make sure you couldn't like see it or feel it. But it was gross. I hate it. I hate crocheting hair into plushies. I'm having issues. I'm trying to look. I would be cheap and buy those one dollar full metal hooks and then I get so much pain in my fingers and wrists and my friend got me clover hooks and I felt the difference immediately. Yeah it was the same way or like I was gifted a crochet set and it was fine for learning and then once I started like doing it a lot I couldn't my hands could not keep up. Hey your bangs look so cute thank you um Zayland is that how I say your name is that right please correct me if I'm wrong um, thank you. Um, I straightened them today. <laughs> That's it. Um, I do need to wash my hair. Tomorrow's hair washing day. No. It's today Friday. Today is Friday. Today is hair washing day. It might get pushed to tomorrow. I mean, my hair doesn't look that oily or greasy. I mean, today is day seven. Just saying. But my friend, um, Macy, who's a hairstylist, she goes even longer. But she's also a hairstylist, so she, like, knows how to do things. I do take showers, please. I, I do. I have a shower cap that I wear. Please know that. <laughs> I'm not gross. I'm not gross. I've just been training my hair. Like, since I've gotten it dyed, I've been training it to not need to be washed, like, all the freaking time. Which is nice because my hair is crazy thick. And I think it's healthier as well. I'm running out of yarn. Excuse you. 
I hate when I get to like this tiny end. It's very difficult. Um, time to bust out the new cake that I did get untangled. I did. Should I wind this? No. Ow. That hurt. I just had a brain moment um, where I was going to try and put this on the cake winder. And then I was like, wait, it goes on that. We're doing great tonight. We're doing great tonight, aren't we? We are thriving. Um, can I tell you a secret? I've been kind of telling people this too, but you can't judge me, okay? You can't. You cannot, you can't judge me. I know, I know. You can't, you have to promise. Pinky promise? I'm no longer A center pole girly. Do you hate me? Am I canceled? Um, have I been canceled now? Do you hate me because I don't do the center pole? I hope not. Um, I now use this thing that I've had for a while. Judging. No, I'm sorry. Can I? Can I explain myself? Can I explain myself? Or am I already losing? Like you guys are like, unsubscribe. <laughs> Please, let me explain myself. I know. I'm no longer a center pull person. One, I can't do it with a regular skein. Like when you buy it, it always, I always get yarn barf. And so I was like, yarn fuzzies. Oh, there's another one. I was like, this isn't working. So I started winding my yarn to get the center pole, right? But once you get to a certain point in the center pole, you have to rewind it. I don't want to do that. And I remembered, I think like a couple years ago, I asked for this guy. So now when I crochet, I need a stitch marker first. Hold on, I'm trying to get like a full view of him. Yeah? So now when I crochet, hold on, I have to get a little bit going. <laughs> this is, I'm trying, I'm trying, I promise, I promise. <laughs> Please. Oh my goodness, I'm having issues. Now, I can just do that. I don't have to do the center pole. Like, isn't that nice? I think it's nice. And it has like these nice beads in the inside of it. Can you see them? You can see them like right in there. It's very nice. Very nice, very nice. I do enjoy. And that is why I'm no longer a center pole girly, I'm sorry. I've been judged, I know. What, why? Controversial, wow. you don't either, okay. Um, I feel like when they're caked, it's okay. I center pull because I keep it in my bag for work breaks. See, that's fair. That's really smart though. What is that thing called? I don't know. Um, I think it's, um, mm -mm -mm. I also, I, I, okay. So what happened was I, oh, it has the name of the person who made it. Okay. I got one of these things, a really cheap one from Hobby Lobby and it sucked. And so I returned it because it was made of plastic. And then I asked my parents to give me this one for my birthday. This is made by Scott's Mountain Crafts on Etsy. It's very nice. Um, if you look up his name, 
is not focusing at all. Um, yeah. What was I saying? A yarn thingy. It's like, it reminds me of like a sewing bobbin thing. You know what I mean? Like the thing that, that's on top that holds the bobbin of yarn, like and the bobbin of, 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 um, thread while you're sewing. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of that. So that's what I use now. And that's why I don't do the center pull. And it keeps your cakes looking nice because then I don't have to rewind it because I, I like winding yarn. No, I don't. I don't like yarn, winding yarn. I like the look of wound yarn. I don't really like winding yarn. So the, the fact that if I wind yarn and then I do the center pull and then I have to wind it again. And then once it gets really, really tiny, I have to hand wind it. That's too much winding. That's too much winding. I am just going to use my thing and be happy. You know, my dogs will not stop barking and it's driving me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once and the rats made me crazy. I'm trying to think of what it is. Maybe I'll find it. I will Google it for you all. Scott's Mountain Crafts. It has a name. I'm trying to look at anybody beat me to it. Maybelline Star. It's a it's a, a a yarn ball holder. That's it. Oh, he has a lot of really nice stuff. My dogs won't stop barking though. It's gonna make me insane. Yeah, I think this looks is similar to what I have. A yarn ball holder. I might have to go. <laughs> They're being rambunctious. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. We're almost at two hours anyways. So I might hop off and watch um whatever show i was saying the the onset one an on a onset something i don't know but yeah i'm maybe not we'll see we'll see I'm almost done with this eagle. Quiet on set, thank you. Quiet on set. Yes, I want to watch it because like those are the shows that I grew up watching. So let's just ruin my childhood. You know, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> ruin everything. Which is what my dogs are doing. We love dogs. We love dogs. They have been good though. It's been like an hour and they've hardly barked. So I guess now is their time to make their cameo. Now is their time. I wonder if somebody's like dropping off a package or something. Probably. Probably. <laughs> can you tell, like if you have dogs, can you tell which one's barking based on their bark? I can sometimes. Can you stack cakes on that for color changes? Let's try. Oh, this is kind of a small. I want to be fair. We'll do very dark Christmas. Yeah, I think you could. Um. I don't know if it would be, I don't know if it would be the best thing for color changes, but I mean, you can fit two. That's not bad.
But now I just, there we go. When you have two, um, Okay, wait, when you have two ends of yarn where you're weaving ends, um, do you knot the two ends together? I do. Yeah. That's what I did for, like, all these guys, like, their feet, because these are crocheted on, so then they would have two ends, and then I would pull them all. I'd pull two through the same stitch, and then I'd tie them in a knot, and then I'd cut them off. Yeah. That's how, that's totally how I do it. That's totally how I do it. And like same with um, adding on a new color for color changing. I will tie those those yarn ends together for sure. For sure, for sure. I think I'm gonna finish these two rows and then I'm going to head out because I would like to watch the show. I love the eagle. Wait, I love the eagle in the lighter color. So cute, thank you. I know I really like it too. Have you ever crocheted a blanket? I kind of have. Um, I started a temperature blanket in, I think 2022, but I used Burnett blanket. And then by the time it was April, I think the blanket itself was like um, already four feet long, probably lo a little bit longer. So then when I did the math for like, having all 12 months the blanket would have been like I think like 12 or 13 feet so then I gave up I also did not like it it was really boring and I was really really behind and I hated having because I did it the average temperature so when I would have to try and like look in the morning and then find the average temperature it was terrible I hated it I will never ever mm, I will n probably never ever make a temperature blanket again it was just not it was so bad I still have it. Um, it's in my closet right now. Uh, all the yarn, all the yarn, oh my gosh, all of the ends are not sewn in or anything. It's really bad. And it was made with um, old Bernat blanket, so it's not even that soft. What about a mood blanket? I'm just not a blanket or clothes person I made a sweater terrible um I like making hats that's okay um but I don't know I just feel like I really really like down comforters <laughs> um and like quilts and so a crochet blanket I don't know I don't know my mom did hand knit a really chunky um blanket or whatever and I liked it but it was really freaking heavy I for some reason um when doing this get into a piece of yarn and then have a piece of that color poking out of my project hopefully this made sense so you like you're about to um sew in your ends and then you find that you had a random end sticking out I think is what you're saying um, my sister wants me to crochet her blanket and I'm contemplating it so hard. I don't know. I don't know. It's just not what I do. And that's totally fine. I like... I do enjoy the mindless aspect of crocheting. But I also can't handle... Like, just doing that many like stitches or sticking with one thing for that long that's why I had to take like a five month break from my whale shark I could not handle doing it anymore um mm -mm. I I don't think it's just not it's not something that I'm into my friend Macy she used to be into amigurumi um, when I taught her how to crochet and now all she makes is blankets because she likes not having to think of a pattern or like read a pattern and mad respects, but I just can't do that. I just don't think it's not what I'm meant to do and that's okay. That's okay. I do think that I will never ever finish that temperature blanket though, for sure. 
my knotting my ends together I knot this over a stitch and it probably it probably oh wait yeah see I couldn't do that though with these ones because obviously this is the different color so you would see that it was knotted over a stitch and I wouldn't like that I wouldn't like that you know what I mean I want that clean look like when I when we were giving these out at the event people were like oh my gosh this is so cute and then people like read the tag that I had with it and they're like oh my gosh you made these I'm like yeah <laughs> and so I think they thought that we just like bought them from I don't know what you know whatever um people people didn't realize that it was handmade which I think was really kind of cool I mean I do like that you know crochet is handmade and like you can tell like with some of the color changes that it's handmade like that doesn't bother me but like to have people be like oh my gosh I couldn't even tell like I was like thanks <laughs> I you know I work hard trying to like learn how to be good and how to have a good stitch um tension and stuff like that so it was fun look at me being so productive I made an eagle head and I did three bodies Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Did I stuff the bodies? No, ma'am. I did not. I did not want to. I don't want to. You know, that's okay. I'm dying. I'm not. I'm being dramatic. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you all. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me again. I hope to go live soon, eventually, maybe Sunday. Um, we shall see because I still need to finish. I don't even know where he went. Nine more of these guys. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, I'll see you all on Instagram or whatever but i'm gonna go and i hope you all had a great time because i did uh oh wait hold on i've made cushion covers but i don't know if i could handle a whole blanket exactly exactly bye thank you i don't know how to end this <laughs> this happened last time too i think i do that yeah okay for real this time bye thank you